Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Melanie, aka The Soulful Stitcher, coming at you with uh, another floss tube video, but this is going to be a different one. This is actually my Stitch Mania video and haul, or stash acquisition, whichever one you prefer. Um, it's been a couple weeks since the last time um, we've talked, so let's get into all the things. So, um, like I said, this, this video is not going to be very long because it's just about Stitch Mania and some of the haul that I've acquired, um, in the last couple weeks. So my Stitch Mania projects, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, but first I do need to say one thing I had posted in three groups. Um, at one point I was under a thousand subscribers for my floss tube. And um, I had posted in some groups to get help to get me to those thousand subscribers. And you guys came through marvelously. Um, you really pushed me over a thousand subs. So I just want to thank each and every person that subscribed to my channel, that already subscribes to my channel. Thank you for the people who are just coming to check me out for the first time. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Um, you know, just thank you so much for the support. So um, let's get into it. I have 20 projects. I was going to do 31, but there are a couple projects that I really want to give some major attention to. So let's get started. Um, the first project, and these are in no particular order. It's just whatever I wake up feeling like stitching that day, or if it's a weekday and I'm working, it's whatever I feel like stitching for those, you know, couple hours after I get off of work. So these are in no particular order. So this is an owl enforced embroidery, and this is called, I'm Uh, I don't know. It's either the Red Queen or Queen of Hearts, one of the two. And it doesn't, in the pattern, it does not say. It doesn't even say on the cover. Let me see. Yeah, the light's better. Okay. So, the first one we've got is Queen of Hearts or the Red Queen, one or the other. And I'm doing this on the 32 count um, vintage Sahara Belfast linen. And this is where I'm at. And I'm stitching it two over two with the regular DMC conversion. And like I said, I have 20 projects only because there are going to be some that are going to get my attention multiple days. Next up. Nope, that's not... One. Next up, we have Sunflower Farm. By Cory Batacori. I believe that's how you say it. And that's what that looks like. And I'm stitching this on 28 count even weave. Um, coffee tea dyed by me. And I'm stitching it one over one with the um, DMC and I have converted the young woman in the picture to a woman of color and that's where I'm at. Because some of these whips just have got to have got to get done. Next up is Cinnamon Stars by Palm Street Sampler. And that's what that looks like. And I am doing the DMC conversion. And I'm stitching it two over two on, where are you? It's my little card on the 32 count love letter Lugana by um, Color and Cotton. And this is where I'm at so far. Next up. I 
This is an oldie but goodie. This is a Pink Barn by Shannon Christine Designs. And this is what it looks like. And I'm stitching this on 28 count even weave or Charles Craft Monaco, two over two. And I'm using the DMC called for colors. And this is where I'm at. And it's hand dyed by me. And uh, like a pearl gray. Oldie, oldie but goodie. This is my girl right here. Um, this is All Woman by Love Thy Thread. And this is what she looks like. And this is hand dyed by me on 28 count even weave. And this is where I'm at. I have stitched everything but her blouse. That is, that, that is an oldie. I mean, I've had that one since, I think. 2014. Next up. This one is called Charity for All by Erica Michaels. And this is what this looks like. And I'm stitching it on 28 count linen called Mink, and I'm stitching it with black Splendor Silk Thread. And this is where I'm at. Next up, we have Christmas Sentiments by Stony Creek. And this is on 28 count even weave, stitched over two, dyed by me with like a light mint green. And I'm using the call for threads. And this is where I'm at so far. It's DMC. There's a pearl cotton in here. And then there's some beads and there's a charm. Okay. Next up. We buy Primrose Needleworks. It's 272 words. The Getty, Gettysburg Address by Abraham Lincoln. And this is what this looks like. And I'm stitching it over one on 32 count summer khaki. No, I'm, yes, summer khaki Belfast linen. And this is where I am at. And I've changed it. I'm using, the for the words, Black Splendor Silk. And then I'm using the regular DMC uh, that is called for for everything else. Next up. 
another oldie but goodie. <laughs> That's just been hanging out here. We have Lantern Lane by Little House Needleworks. And this is where I'm at. I'm stitching it on a 40 count linen. And this is where I'm at. Oh, it's upside down. As you can tell, I just need to stop messing around and, you know, just get these finished. But I am what you call a process stitcher. I really enjoy the process. Um, finished products are not really a big deal to me. Um, I know that sounds kind of crazy. Um, because if I die, I don't want to have shelves and shelves of unfinished projects that no one's going to finish because my family's, you know, not into stitching. I'm the only one. So I do want to get them, but I'm, I'm really what you call a process stitcher. So next up is... Um, it's called, where are you? Here we go. Through the Years, Through the Stars, Zodiac Sampler by Clouds Factory. And this is what it looks like. And this is where I am. And this is on 18 count Ada died by me with all the called for. And oh, this is where I'm at so far. Oh, you can't really see that. I had to start over. Um, but this is where I'm at. This is, I'm not going to take it out. Next up This is called Green Gables by JBW Designs and this is Anne of Green Gables in honor of Anne so it's Green Gables in honor of Anne and I am stitching this on the July 2020 Fabric Club Pearwood Lugana 32 count. And I'm using all of the call for. And this is where I'm at so far. Okay. Next, this is one I really want to get done. This is another one that's just been hanging out here for quite some time. And this one is called Sampler Game Board by The Drawn Thread. And this is what it looks like. And this is where I'm at. And I'm using this on a 28 count even weave oatmeal. And I'm stitching it over one. And I'm using all of the called for DMC. Okay. Next, this is another one that I need to get finished too, and that's why I put it in Stitch Mania 
but I just, I keep running into problems with it. And this is one of those ones that's going to take me multiple days. And it's the Pride and Prejudice Sal by the Stitching Book Club. And this is stitched on a 28 count even weave, hand dyed by me in yellow. Over And I'm stitching it over one with the call for DMC. And this is where I'm at. And I keep messing up on this right here. So I have to rip these out and start, you know, start it all over again. And if anybody knows, ripping out over one stitches is not fun whatsoever. So that's where I'm at. Another oldie but goodie that I love working on when I remember to work on it. And this is Seasons, Song of Seasons Mystery Sampler by Little House Needleworks. And this is what the... And I'm stitching this on 40 count with the call for um, threads, which is Weeks Dye Works. And this is where I'm at. And I didn't iron. Sorry. Did not iron. So, sorry, but not really. There's that. Another one that I need to just get cracking on and stop messing around. And uh, get it done. And last... We have Country Cottage Needleworks Glitter Village. And I'm on Glitter Village um, house number one. And I'm using all of the call for threads for this. And this is where I'm at. And I'm using the 32 count raw opalescent vis um, fabric. And I'm stitching it over too. And that's where I'm at. Okay. So, oh, and there's two more. I'm sorry. There's two more. Next up is one that I really love. I just keep on saying that. I love it so much but can't get finishes. Mm hmm Engraver's Charts by Liz Matthew. Liz Matthews. Or Liz Matthew. And I'm stitching this on 32 count. Sahara. Vintage Sahara. Belfast Linen. And this is where I'm at. I'm still on the bees. This is going to be a big boy. Uh, this is going to be a big one. Now, remember the snafu that I told you I had with Winter Rose Garden. Oh, and I'm stitching um, the engraver's chart with the black DMC rayon floss. Or silk floss, whatever you want to call it. So, I started it over and I'm really glad that I did for several reasons. One... I had made some mistakes in it, and I get to correct all the mistakes. And two, I bought the silk pack, the Vicki Clayton hand-dyed silk pack for it. And I absolutely love stitching with them. They are magnificent threads. 
magnificent. Worth every dime I spent on them. Now, this particular linen, I don't know the count. But what I do know is it is way smaller than 40 count, which is totally fine because I'm loving this. Love stitching on this. But so you can see where I'm at. Let me get up close here. This is where I'm at with redoing it. And let me show you, just in case for those of you who are new, who've never seen the chart before, this is what the chart looks like. So, as a matter of fact, when I get finished this video, I'm going to go back and put some more stitches in it. So now for another exciting part of the video, which is my haul. So I know some people don't like haul. So at this particular point, for those of you who don't like haul videos or, you know, watching the part with the haul in it, I'll say goodbye to you. And I'll say thank you so much again for coming to check out my channel and spend some time with me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, you know, see you, see you next video. So now on to the haul. So, ooh, um, as I told you, I had bought these Victorian, um, the Vicky Clayton hand dyed silks for Winter Rose Manor, and um, just worth every dime. I, if you're stitching it and you haven't started, I, I would really suggest these beautiful colors. Just great floss all the way around. Then I received um, a, my fat quarter shop haul. Now, one of the things that you've heard me say a lot throughout this whole entire video is that I stitch on. 28 count even weave. Um, hey, um, I bought some more. I'm going to tell you something. This Charles Craft Monaco, I absolutely love stitching on this. I can stitch over one. I can stitch over two. I can dye it. I love this stuff. Love it, love it, love it. And, you know, even just sitting here talking about, I'm going back to order some more. Because I don't ever want to run out of this. I love this. Love this fabric. And so I got two of those. Two of those. Then I purchased, because if you know me and you've been following me, you know that one of my favorite designers is Cross um, Country Cottage Needleworks and Little House Needleworks. I my favorite. And so I bought the whole entire Main Street series. If you're not familiar with the Main Street series, what comes in that is the flower shop. Anything that you, when you go to a little town and you find it on the main drag, the main highway of the town, Main Street, you know there's always a flower shop There's a bookstore. I'm really going to love stitching that. Sometimes somewhere they have a gazebo. They have, everybody has a coffee shop. There's an art gallery. There's a dress shop, tailor store. You know, there's cafes. There's a grocery store. A pain, um, a post office. And last, everybody has a bakery. 
So that is the whole Main Street series. And I'm going to stitch them on one piece. I just have to get the fabric. Um, and I probably will get what it's called for. Okay. Next up in my, I got 25 count oatmeal Lugana. And I seen this from Java Girl Stitches and I was like, oh, I've got to get some of that. You can see it's modeled a little bit. I'm not going to take it out the package, but you can tell that it's modeled. And I got early Christmas warning. I've been wanting this pattern. Now, the thing is, I'm not a sewer. Not at all. I'm, I don't know how to make things, you know, like, like most people. So I'm just going to stitch this. I won't be making it into a drum. I'm just going to stitch it. Or a pin keep. And then last one, two, three stitch, I got the chart that I've been wanting. Been eyeing it, watching everybody else stitch it. I was going back and forth, hemming and hawing, and I finally just got it. And it's the baby, it's cold outside. But what I am doing is I'm doing the blue conversion. And I got that off of, I can't remember her name, um, off of Instagram. Um, and I'm using my phone to record so I can't look. But the color spinach is being used in it. Tartan plaid is being used in it. White Lightning by Weeks Dye Works. Cool Azul is being used. And then some DMC 386 and 798. So I'm going to do the blue conversion. So actually, I'm telling the story. Baby Gets Cold Outside is going to be a new start for Stitch Mania. So that leaves me with 2022 20, because I'm also going to start Blackbird by Blackbird Designs. And I'm going to be using Black Sulky Thread. Now, my last piece of haul is I'm really excited about. Um... I'm on Instagram and I follow a lot of people. And um, one of the biggest things on Instagram is supporting uh, people of color, their businesses. And there is an African-American lady by the name of uh, Kristen. Let me make sure because I want to get all my information right. Yes, I'm right. Her name is Kristen Green. And Kristen came up with an actual hardbound cross stitch planner. She created this called Get Stitch, the Get Stitch Done Planner. In actuality, you know what she's saying. But to keep it PG, it's Get the Get Stitch Done Planner 2021. And it is absolutely amazing on side. I'll give you a peek of just some of the stuff. Weekly goals. You have your weekly plan. You have your monthly plan. Monthly goals. You have a stitch project plan page. And she even gives you where you can sketch out for people who like the design. You can sketch. She has in the back notes, contacts for those of us who are on Instagram, hashtag list, contact page. 
our wish list, friends and family interests for those of you who stitch for friends and families, holidays coming up. I mean, it it is amazing from front to back. And um, I will try to link link it below for those of you who are interested. Um, but it's called Mysticulous. Mysticulous. Me Stitulous um, on Instagram. And she has a website that you can go to and order your own. So, and she has a video there where she does a flip through. You can see everything there as well. But I would prefer to direct you to the website um, to give her some business. Also, to get you a great planner. I know that there's a lot of great planners out there. But there's only a few really dedicated to cross stitch and um, I can't wait. I cannot wait to sit down and plan my stuff out. I'm using my friction pens. And friction pens are pens that you write with, but you can erase. The heat, the friction um, erases. So if I make a mistake, I don't mess up the pages or anything like that. Um, so yeah, definitely go and check her out. And uh, I want to thank you so much for spending some time with me. You guys have an amazing day. Thank you again for helping me reach my thousand subscribers. And, uh, you know, keep stitching. Keep doing all the things. Keep being kind to people. Keep being safe. And uh, have an amazing week.